What's up guys, it's HOL and today we're playing some Hurt Well again. This is like the third video of my series. So, seeing that I have a video out and um, uh, a lot of people like dead caps and they want to always get dead caps, I guess I could be rated, so I'm gonna check to see if I'm rated or not. I know it's hard to get dead, get dead caps, but I mean, there could be people who really want to rate me. And make a video showing that they are reading me, you know, or something like that. But um, the fact that I showed it means that people would want to read me, knowing that I actually have dead caps. So I'm gonna check, and I'm gonna check to see if in case the other base has anything that I could use or whatever. Okay, so I didn't get readed. And this is my little base that I made. I decided to make two of those um oh scared me for a while it's not loading in so i still have the two dead caps right there and um got a couple of stuff there enough to make a big base but i don't really like to make big bases i just like to raid people and just have fun stuff like that and this is my little i'm not sure what this is called most people don't use it but i i use it because you can use it to peek and see if anyone is on the on top of your house and all that kind of stuff it's um pretty cool though so let's go check to see what's up with the base if the totem is expired or anything like that doesn't seem to look like it's there or is it i guess we need to go a little bit closer to um find out Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, game has been pretty low when it comes to play accounts for the past time. Um, I wasn't even sure if I would ever play this again because the updates are coming really slow and the thing is about the game is that it needs constant updates, kind of like Rust, how Rust is right now. Rust is constant updates, they are constantly showing you dev blogs and uh, after showing you the dev blogs, not too long after, there is an update. So that is actually something that is really... Well, the base is gone. That's really, really... It, it encourages players to always be on the game. And even in case you haven't been on it for a long time, every time there's an update you come, then there's always going to have a nice peak of, of players. You check? So constantly... Let me see if I could take this. You're going to have a constant amount of players so it seems like the the house has been deleted probably because of the new system whereby if there isn't a totem then I'm so hungry then it basically removes everything so i guess they didn't come back because they really thought that i was hacking well a cop couple of them thought that then realized one realized the guy named flappy that he realized that it was just them that built off their boundaries which is quite annoying I never I never forget to build in my boundaries anyways I guess I had enough I mean having two of those blast furnaces is actually pretty good so, so yeah, the game is basically an all-time low when it comes to player count, and I like to play a game where there's a lot of people around and a lot of um, action, actually. But um, for the past time, there's like two thousand people playing, and sometimes it's not even on the um, the North American servers or any server that would give me a a good ping to say. It's more on servers that are like high ping, and like I have 200 ping when I'm running inside my house. I just ended up back outside, so it's really annoying to play on those kinds of servers. And when I'm actually playing on like the Renaissance server, which is a times five or times something like that, people get dead caps and all this type of stuff so fast, and they end up raiding you so fast. It's like progress is like there is no progress in the game it's like everything you could just bypass it 
by just rubbing one person. Just rubbing one person and you basically bypass the whole system. And I like to build in the in the desert and I tend to get rubbed very quickly. <laughs> and read it read it very quickly actually. So I don't really like to be in the desert on those times five and times six servers. Yeah, so he's making it a little bit cool. I think I'm gonna check my fire pit there. I don't think I should put that in it, but I guess I could. So my... Uh, I have a blast furnace already hiding in my other room. I guess I could just put it there. And put that one in the corner there. Anyways, the server is going to restart in about two days, so the wipe is in two days, so I uh, there is no sense of me trying to collect stuff that I don't need. So that's how it looks from at the top, that <laughs> sneaky little peek and shoot kind of stuff. So I would like to create a series on this, but I need content. Wait, 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 wait. Someone logged off there. Yeah, let me see if I could go kill them. And then I don't have to worry about infamy. And the little shark, I guess it's it's gone. That was there. It's actually gone now, so... Um, I, it stays 24 hours, I think, so... I guess they reached their limit. And this guy name is... Temper Probs. So let me see what he got on him, if he's a fresh spawn or he's packing of C4s. I think a lot of people are forgetting that there is a sleep system. But we got a few stuff. We got a cool, some cool stuff there. 89. Really? 89? It's like a fresh spawn. Where did he get that though? So... Yeah, this guy is. This guy got a lot of stuff for a first one, or maybe he's not. But why doesn't he have any clothes on when you kill him? That's really interesting. I'm not sure if that's part of the the new um, killing the sleeper mechanic stuff, where he doesn't really show the clothes that he has on him or something like that. See people typing in the chat. Not sure how many people are online. Let me check. Um, there's just two of them. So that's it. There's just two of them online, which is <laughs> that's not so good enough hungry. to be playing on a North American server and I have only two people on online. And it's been making me a bit angry because I like to see a game prosper. And Total is a good game. I. I don't want to see it die because I want to create a lot of more content on it because I kind of wanted to start my channel, well, continue my channel on virtual because I used to play on turn before and it was pretty nice but I, I just kind of stopped playing because, well, not enough people that I knew were playing it or just it being a little bit more um, childish, colorish. The color is like kind of childish and I don't really like zombies in any games I play. I rather have nature where it's animals or whatever um, animal it may be. Or it has to be some kind of creature but not not like in a zombie form. That's kind of annoying for me. So I, that's why I never played Seven Days to Die, if that's the name. And H1Z1 and stuff like that. I, I just check them out and then I... I I just couldn't play them but I would like to see that um, that bird bird like thing that um, they advertised like almost a year ago almost a year ago they showed us that birdish kind of thing school girl is this a school girl or whatever they call it a school girl or a school girl a school girl something like that and um, they just never really told us anything about it after it's like 
they forgot about it and they're just showing us stuff and stuff and a lot of stuff that I want to see come in the game because I don't want to see the game die they're probably thinking that when they um, put the big patch that people will come but sometimes people are, have abandoned the game for so long they, and they found a lot of games that they thought were better and they're just not coming back I mean I, and um, the fact that you've already made your money already is good because you made millions of dollars probably because I saw it like it had a million sales so most likely a million times whatever if it's twelve dollars or twenty whatever dollars then you the game did well for sales the game did very well so I just don't want to see the game die as usual you're just gonna test it pow and we're in so and there are sleepers so uh, there's no sense really looting people so well, let me just kill every one of them just to you know be fun about it i mean i am recording a live commentary so i could still just take his stuff For the past time I've been seeing a lot of people having a lot of iron and st a lot of loot. I'm not sure what's happening to the silver. I'm not sure if it's time to get run by hackers. See that everyone I kill is like they don't have they don't have um, clothes on them. And yeah, these guys have a lot of stuff. So I just want to see the game prosper because I want to keep on playing the game. I don't want to have to play other games and just leave Hurt World behind because it has some cool features. It has some really, really, really cool features that I really like that other games don't have. And that's one thing about Hurt World that really makes it stand out. There are certain stuff in it, certain features that are pretty awesome. They are pretty awesome. And that's why I play it all the time. All the time, well, <laughs> well, uh, all the time in the past. But now I'm just taking huge breaks from the game, and hoping that they would somehow change their whole tactics and stuff like that. So let me just check this. So a lot of houses are like disappearing because, well, it's closer to the wipe, and uh, and um, they're just not thinking about it anymore because I mean it's closer to the wipe so it, the most you could do is actually raid and just like rust usually have a so nice little raid end game raid and you're done you just use everything you got but now in hurt world there isn't and this guy managed to keep his house intact but in hurt world you don't have see, um, other alternatives other than the drill to raid people like in Rust you can use hatchets and raid people's houses break, break their doors and stuff like that but it's only possible to do it on those shacks and anybody who has a shack obviously is not a big deal although I use shacks to hide my stuff in the past but sometimes you forget to come online and then it's gone so um, it's not something that you wanna invest in really it's just something that you want to make and uh, after you make it you just put your stuff in it you prepare yourself to make an uh, actual house with a double door and not just a double door but a boiler room <laughs> which I call it where you trap people and you burn them and take their stuff because of the infamy you're trying to avoid so I'm just going to check over there I think I've been talking for a good while now I mean it's silver is pretty dead nothing to really do the last day thought I'd see a little more action happening but nothing I mean if all this <laughs> was available to me before um, like seven days ago maybe I'd be much happier so. yeah so anyways guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to me you know so I could I would know that you guys like the content and leave a like 
Um, yeah, so you guys could um, actually do that and don't forget to stay royal. <laughs>